So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a real Termat meal, vacuum packed, very tightly packed there. Now, last week I came to the channel and I showed you one of these, what I paid, I think it was about £11 something for it, I could be wrong actually. And I run about one that I paid a lot more money for, and it was this one. You know, a lot of people now are going to be like, what the hell have you done that for? Am I crazy? Am I just completely out of my mind? So, <laughs> let's tell you a little bit about it and what the flavour is. So it's a pulled pork flavoured meal, gluten free, lactose free and milk free. If I drink much to do with normal milk or let's say ice cream and stuff like that, dairy products, I do get the effect of it the day later for a couple of days. So these gluten free meals are the ones that I do need to start eating. Now some of the ones on the market, they're not gluten free, but I'll still try them anyway. I can cope with having you know, a bit of an upset stomach for a day or two. Anyway, <laughs> it's vacuum packed. I'm just going to get into the meal because the price is quite like, oh my God. Let's get some water put into the meal. We'll hydrate it. And then I'll talk about the price whilst it's hydrating. So basically, all we have to do is fill it up to the end of these lines here. Like, I put the video on, let's say, last week, and a lot of people are interested in these meals on this channel. So I thought, you know what, I'll come back and I'll have another go at doing another video and seeing how it turns out. Now, I'm getting like a tomato smell. What I do is I'm not going to sit here reading all the flavours. Yeah, there's tomatoes in it, the peppers, leeks. What I do is all the ingredients, what's in this meal, I'll put it in the, uh, the description of the video so you can check out stuff's in it if you want. Mm, don't smell too bad. It smells a lot like a tomato soup with a bit of onion. Dry tech company dinner is served folks all you need is hot water eating outdoors has be never become easier enjoy your meal for the price I paid for this I hope I enjoy this meal I really do so let's add some water to it up to the line that it says boiling water My spark I'm going to be using is my Wild Camping International one. It's long enough to get right into the bottom of these meals. Give it a bag a really good mix up. Wow, for the price I hoping it'd be a bit more money. Uh, that's because I'm obsessed by how much I actually paid for it. I am hoping it'd be a bit more I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking here I really am struggling because in the last video what I did last week of this a lot of people were saying for that price I think it was $14.99 actually a lot of people were saying you know you could have got a, a free cost meal you could have done this you could have done that you wasted your money what an absolute waste you could have got a Tesco's brought all your ones from there instead of spending the money on these meals but I know a lot of people who understands these meals are pretty good when you're out and about. Exactly what I've done, poured some water in it, leave it to hydrate and you can do other things in your tent or if you've gone on a hike and stuff like that. Now, the price, I know a lot of people are thinking, go on then, tell me how much it cost. Oh, I read it on back of the bag just here. How much did I pay for it? £18.50, well £18.40 sorry, £18.40 I paid for this one, pulled pork, god, £18.40 from Amazon, if I would have got a base camp food, this is what I, what people need to understand, and if you subscribe to my channel already you'll get this, you'll, you'll know I've gone about it a lot, and I'm not bothered to start saying it, I'm dyslexic, so for me to remember certain things, like just say for instance, 
I put 14.99 down there. I meant to put £18.40. But because the way my brain works dyslexia, I ripped the wrong number down. So if someone says, you know, oh, try this base camp food just in a conversation with me, or they'll put it in a message on my channel, it won't sink in. And I'd have to be told about it a lot of times before it sinks into my brain. And I went to Amazon, £18.40. And then last week's video, people were saying, base camp foods, Dan, base camp foods. A lot of people were saying it. And I finally went on the website, £10.99p, £7.41p. I'd save it if I went to base camp foods. Now, with base camp foods is, the next one I want to show, it was more expensive to buy it from base camp foods than it was off. Of Amazon so sometimes it may work sometimes it doesn't but with Amazon you pay for it, it it's at your house the next day so that's probably a good thing why I do think oh, I just got Amazon and buy them anyway how long do we need to leave this for see I'm um, eight minutes we've we'll be been talking now for about three or four haven't we so I, I, I think that so we'll give it a little stir we'll have another quick smell of it Yeah, the, the smell's changed. I'm tasting, uh, taste, I'm not even eating it. What am I about tasting? I'm smelling a lot of the peppers. So it's not like pepper and salt and pepper. The peppers, red and green peppers. I'm smelling a lot of that and the rice. But I've never had this one before. So for me to say I'm smelling this, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I'm meant to be smelling for. If it were beans and toast one, and you know, I opened it up, I know what beans and toast sm uh, smell like, so I'd have an idea, wouldn't I? But I've never had the pulled pork before. I've had a pulled, pulled pork burger, but never this meal. So if I get another one from another brand in the future, I'd probably recognise it and go, that smells a bit better than this, or it almost smelt better. Right, I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes, and then we'll get it out of the, the bag. We'll pour it into this bowl here, so you can see the content what it looked like now the price 18 pound 40 i did think it were a double portion and it's not it's just a single portion gluten free lactose free and milk free that's where they're getting you with the price i say that but then base camp food is in my head going now nah, we you know you would have saved seven pound if you come to us down you got screwed over by amazon <laughs> and he is going yeah, but we got it delivered next day. You didn't have to wait a couple of days. <laughs> so I'm getting like, I'm arguing myself. But and then, you know, myself, I'm thinking, I could have saved seven pound. I could have got another meal. That's how I'm thinking. My brain's going absolutely mental at the moment. Pulled pork with rice. I'll be back soon. There, ladies and gentlemen, is £18.40. Imagine what you could buy for that. Could feed a family for a day or two, just off this one meal. See, the thing about this is, if I buy them, I test them and show you what it's like, then you'll know if you want to get them or not, won't you? But I'll always be convinced these are brilliant when you're out camping or if you're hiking in your tent when it's absolutely throwing down the rain can make that and you're gonna have a nice meal so I, i'll rate them you know yeah it's expensive but next time i know where to go i've got a base camp food instead of going to amazon and just wait a couple of days right so that's the meal let me know what you think about the price please in the comments below i need to get that out of my head so straight away you see a lot of the rice don't you and you can see the pork it's like strings of it so you do see pork in it like this, for instance. Wherever it's gone. So 
So you do get string, strains of it, strings of it. Let's give it a test there. Let's stop knocking it. Hmm. You definitely get chunks of pork in it. It's like it's been ripped open. Like you would with chicken sort of thing where you pull it apart. It's the same sort of thing with that pulled pork. But the meat is really nice. It's got a Mediterranean taste to it, like Mediterranean food. It's got that sort of taste to it as well. What I'm grateful about as well is... It's not powering with pepper i hate these meals when you get them and they've just thrown a load of pepper in and then it's a little bit overpowering with it i'm not even sure if it has pepper in this one for once no see that's why i can't taste it it's got peppers seven percent salt it's got no pepper that's why it's nice because there's no overpowering flavour of the pepper in it. That is a good thing. It's got garlic, what you can taste the garlic as well. That's it. The full ingredients will be in the description below. You can check that out. Mm. I must say, I'll buy this again. 100% but I'll get it for the £10.99 price some people still say that's expensive I say it's going to be worth it when I'm out doing what I get up to in the great outdoors wow it is a really nice meal mm. I'm just going to sit here going mm, ah, mm, ah, to you, ah. What a fantastic meal. I can highly recommend it. I'll share a link in the description to the Base Camp Foods website, not the Amazon one. Because I don't know if I told you before, but it's pretty expensive of Amazon and cheaper at Base Camp Foods. If this is the first time you're seeing my channel, you've not yet seen what I get up to on my YouTube channel, check out some of the videos below. You can press here by subscribing to my channel. If you're already subscribed, there'll be another video here. I don't know if you've seen it or not. But you can check that out if you want. But most of all, I do appreciate people coming to these videos on this channel and checking them out. Do leave your comments. Like I say, if you're new to the channel, hit this here. Please subscribe. And I'll see you later on for another camping video within the rain.